So let's go ahead and do two things. We're going to set up the particle system, but we're also going to set a tag on the player. If you did place in both players, be sure to delete the one. We're just going to be rebuilding it. So the one that just has the chick inside is the one we're going to just be rebuilding. All right. So on player itself, if you have this selected, notice over on the top in the inspector, there's a tag. The tag, we want to actually click on the drop down. And if, when you left click on it, you'll go down, you'll see one that says player. So go ahead and click on player. We're going to use player tag to identify the character through code. All right. So after that, go ahead and right click on player, go down to where it says particle system. Click on particle system. And what should have happened is it placed it parented to player. If it's outside of player like that, then just drag the particle system into player so it's in there. And I'm just going to type in particle. So if you click on it, push F2 or click twice on it uh, to rename it or rename it up there in the inspector. So the default particle system here for Unity. We want to run through just a basic one. Uh, again, we're just going to do the little yellow uh, square pieces kind of floating around for it. So on the particle system over here, what we can do, you can either you can either place it and work through it right here, but when you get to a curve, you'll actually either use the curve down here or use the curve up here. So I'm going to click on the open editor and let's go ahead and just kind of use this part of our window scene right here for it. All right, so we have a couple of things we need to work through. The first thing on the particle, if you go to the top, there is a duration. How long do you want it to last? Well, what we want to do is just say it's going to go for about a, a 0.1 seconds on it. We'll go ahead and have a pre-warm and a looping checked for it. For the start lifetime, the start lifetime, um, let's go ahead and just do a 0.5. So we want to last about a half second on it. Now we're going to start at a 0.5, but if you click on the, uh, the drop down right there, you'll see one says curve, click on curve. So curve lifetime is going to start at 0.5, but we want to just take it. If you go down to the bottom for the different tangents, different angles on it, you can click on the one that has a little sloping curve to it like that. So we just want to say it's going to curve downward like that just a little bit. And if you click on the very last one at bottom, uh, that keyframe right there, we can move the keyframe in just a little bit. So we're going to have it curve and then just go a little over to the side. So you can either have the curve or you can just keep it where it goes straight to the corner either way. All right. So the speed is a little bit fast. We're going to go ahead and just set it to one. That way it's not going to be shooting out so fast going across it. The uh, start size on this one, we don't want it so large. We're going to go for a 0.1 on it. And actually, before we finish off with these, just so we're looking at the right one, if you go inside of the chicken, inside of the model folder here, so inside the model, inside of chicken, or chick, there is a chick particle uh, material right there. Well, if I go back to my player and click on my particle, if we go down to the bottom, there is a render rollout, and there's one that says material. You can either drag chicken particle onto it, or you can click the open button, the browse, and choose the chicken particle from here. If you click on it or double click on it, it'll close it with it, uh, with it uh, assigned to it. This way that when we're working with it, you'll be able to see um, the end result rather than just waiting until we get done with it. All right. So what we want to do with this one, we have our, we'll go back up to the top rollout with our particle. We have our start speed and our start size both set up for us. Um, let's go ahead and take the, uh, when it comes to the start rotation, let's go ahead and just do like a 1.5. We'll place on there and then a randomizer. We're going to go for about a 0.8 for that side of it. And then once we have those two on there, it's going to go down Let's see. I want to make sure that on emissions, we're going for about a, anywhere from a hundred, uh, probably around a hundred or so. Let's see. Yeah. I've generated enough for us. All right, so the next thing we want to do is just go down to shapes. We don't want to use a cone. We actually want to use like a hemisphere, something that's going to give us a little circular distance around the player. But the direction, we want to make sure that the rotation, so over here on the transform, be sure that your rotation is set for negative 90. And then the size of it right there is pretty large. Let's go ahead and scale that down. We don't, we don't necessarily need it that large on it. So we'll take the point. I'm just going to left click and drag that point down. And the radius size of it, you could take it down to about a 0.25, um, 0.3, let's see. We'll just 
we'll take it to a point two five. Let's see. There we go. All right. So now we just have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a poof going around it with some of the yellow particles coming out. That should look pretty good from up there. All right. So with the radius at point two five, we have a hemisphere set on that one. We're going to do a random direction just so it's a little bit even more random. So if you notice with and with and without, you have this one is kind of uh, all at once, but this one feels like it's some pieces here, some there. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to our render, make sure we have things set up on this. There is a min particle size and a max. Uh, at the moment, the max is 0.5. We could say uh, our max uh, will set to one just in case. All right, so that should be just about it for all of the particle pieces here. It's just kind of setting up the basics, so nothing super fancy, but enough to kind of give the idea of what's going to happen with it. All right, so there you go. That's going to be the particle for the player. Again, just be sure the particle is set on the uh, player inside of it with the chicken. All right, so next thing we'll do is actually make a prefab out of it, and then we'll start working over the the setting up components and making some fun movement happen.